I spent this weekend surprising my students at their jobs and celebrations. I do not teach at his school anymore, but he will always be my student, and I will always support him. Another student invited me to her quinceanera. She was so shocked, actually came. It was great seeing another teacher there supporting. It was so beautiful. It looked like Cinderella. I will always remember this moment. I spent my weekend surprising my students at work in game. She was overwhelmed. You got a friend in me. I'm so embarrassing. You got I got him too. There is an end. I spent this weekend surprising my students at work. I didn't expect her to react like this. We did a photo shoot, and I helped her organize the store. It's important for them to know that you're there for them. I cannot believe my students threw me a red carpet theme surprise birthday party. When I walked to the door, all of them act like they were the paparazzi with their cameras. And everybody was dressed up so nicely, even the teachers, and they invited other students from other classes. They brought all kinds of snacks and goodies, and one of my students even made me a red velvet chocolate cake, which is my favorite. They decorated the entire classroom, and they made the studio into a theater. They made a 10-minute movie about telling me how they love me so much. And I'm not gonna lie, I cried a few tears. I cried a few tears. I just never seen anything like this before. After the movie, they let me open my birthday gift. Then they sung happy birthday. They took over a month to plan this birthday party. And I am extremely thankful. This is why I do what I do. Now, I'll never forget this. What do you do when three of your students ask you to go to their game, but they play different sports and it's on the same day? Figure out a way to go to all of them. I went to the golf tournament first. I was under the assumption that you just sit down and watch them play. But that is not the case. You gotta follow them everywhere they go. So here's me trying to run to keep up. Why everybody else is sitting loving their golf carts? I finally caught up with my first student. When I tell y'all she did her thing, oh, she did it. Side note, after running a few miles to get to my next student, somebody finally told me that I could have rented a golf cart for $7. But there go my student. Oh, okay, young Tiger Woods, I see you. After cheering him on, I head on to the tennis game. When I finally got there, my student was so excited to see me. And she did an amazing job. I'm so happy I took the time to go see all of them play. But these are still the same students that say I cannot get to 30K on IG before spring break. Let's prove them wrong. I love seeing my students doing things they're passionate about. So when my students told me about their baseball game, I had to surprise them and show up. I stayed after school and made a jersey with all their numbers on it. it. Took a few hours to make, so I was running late to the game. But when I got there, they were so excited to see me, and I could tell they put on their air game. I must warn you, I'm like embarrassed of parents that yells the whole game. Don't play with them. You did your thing out there. Go ahead. Go right. Go right, right. They are out there killing it. But these are the same kids that I can't get the 50k on IG before spring break. Let's prove them wrong. I'm so thankful for my students and everything they've done. Since this pandemic, I have a student that comes in every single week and bring me Lysol wipes to make sure that we're safe during this pandemic and these hard times. This is something that she does not have to do, but I'm so thankful that she does. I also have another student that brings me drinks almost every day. But not only that, most of all my students are extremely giving and have a great heart. So have a great Thanksgiving. Not only did my first and second period class come in two hours before school started to throw me a surprise party, my fourth period also made me a surprise party, which they made a Hawaiian theme. They brought all kinds of goodies, an amazing birthday gift, and one of the parents even bought pizza for an entire classroom. I can honestly say my students are just built different. They're loving, caring, and it makes what I do worthwhile. My favorite part about this party has to be the hats. On the first day of Black History Month, my students surprised me with this. <laughs> I've been, oh my goodness, this is my first portrait, y'all. What the world? Oh, this is beautiful. Yo, who, who got a picture of them they stood and drew? I'll wait, I'll wait, Mr. Rooks. Oh my goodness. Yo, this is dope. 
It looks just like me. Yes, all my different personalities. All my different personalities all over here. Oh my goodness, it looks just like me. This picture means so much to me. And for them to say that I'm one of their role models, it's what keeps me doing what I do. Oh baby, it's the kids for me. It's my kids for me. They just don't know. They saved my life. They came and changed me. And All right, Mr. Brooks, who is he? Uh, Jacquees. <laughs> Mr. Brooks, that's slime on shorty. Uh, he made like a lot of TikTok songs like Dip, Dip. You know? That Playboy Cardi. Mr. Brooks, this is Tisa Korean. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> so all my ladies, if you tie his mess. Losing weight, falling off in the stress. <laughs> and wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Okay, who it is? That is NLE Chopper. In a Daddy. <laughs> this is NBA Young Boy. I know some levels. <laughs> okay, who is this? She go with a raffle. Oh, I know that this Jada Wade. She go with um the baby. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, bad, bad baby, bad baby, bad baby. I wanted to make a creative space in my classroom that my students could make cool content. We decided to do a foil room. Every month we are going to come up with different themes. It took us three days to finish, but it was worth it. The pictures turned out so good. Go to my IG to see the pictures. This semester will be a fun one. Students react to me being blue? Smurf. I like a what? You like a Smurf. <laughs> you saying? Blues, blues. <laughs> Mr. Brooks. <laughs> what you said? You like a Smurf. <laughs> you do too. <laughs> All right, y'all. So my student just told me that I look like <laughs> Melly. <laughs> y'all. Is this? I know this ain't who you talking about. Kind of That's you, Mr. Brooks. This, this me. That's you, Mr. Brooks. Uh, you fell in. I'm getting. A, you getting an L. Get spider prank on students. Spider school. <laughs> spider. <No. laughs> Yo, I love you, So this week, I decided to go support my students at work. They were so surprised when they saw me. Although I live nowhere near my school district, I feel like it was very important to take the time out just to let them know that I'm very proud of them. One of the main concepts I teach is work ethic, and I expect you to have it in and out of class. So when I see them out there working, it makes me a proud teacher. It's hard balancing school and work, so I applaud them. My student, Lil Mango, just started his first job, but wasn't there when I came, so I wrote him a congratulations note and gave it to one of his coworkers. I hope they give it to him. I still deserve the job. So, you doing this stuff? I need to go back in there. Give a raise. Give a raise. <laughs> you will not believe what my students presented me with. <laughs> Can't wait to see what happens when we reach a million classmates. Top Roach Frank on students. Hey, Mr. Oh! <laughs> Don't fall like that. Woo -hoo. Ah. 
The hardest part about teaching for me is graduation. I teach the same students from their ninth through 12th grade year. And this year is really tough because these are the same students that started with me four years ago when I started teaching. These are the same students that I showed up to their first day of work, even after they worked my nerves. The same ones that didn't want to do any work, but got the work done. The ones that invited me to their basketball games. And you know, I came and cheered them on and still cheered them on as they head to college on their athletic scholarships. It's the one that remembers that one time they got in trouble in class and thank you for help guiding them as they head to serve the nation. I'ma miss all the funny moments, the emotional moments, all the pranks they put on me and made me not want to eat from a student ever again. Them taking my phones to do a little selfies in class. Them paying for my meals when I come and eat at their restaurant. As they wave by, I just sit back and reflect on all the moments that we shared. And although this is a very tough moment, it's also a very rewarding moment because I know without a shadow of a doubt, they're ready to go and tackle this world. And I'm thankful for being a part of it.